Hey, Kevin. What are you about to do? Hmm. Well, I got a question the other day, an email. How do you set the wire right? And what about sound? People say, you know, people tell you to listen to how it sounds. Could I talk about that a little bit? I thought, oh, that's a good question. That, that's a, that'd be a good topic. So what I want to do is just fire up the MIG welder over there. And I just want to play with, I'll leave the voltage alone. And I just want to play with the wire feed setting. So it's too slow, just about right, and too fast. And what I want you to do, really, is if you got a set of headphones, put them on. If not, crank, a, crank it up and run the cat out of the room. And listen to the difference in sound. And see if your ear can pick it up the same way mine does. So let me fire the welder. Several different things I want you to look at when I'm welding down here. I want you to be paying attention to the sound. I want you to be looking at the puddle. And look at the wire. Because <clears throat> one of the things you want to keep in mind, one of the things you want to watch is your, uh, is your welding. You want to keep in mind is when you got the puddle going and that wire is feeding out, you want that wire to be feeding right into the puddle. You don't want it stuck in the puddle, but you don't want it way up in the air either. It's got to be right there at the top of the puddle. Maybe just a little bit in. All well, depends on what you're doing. But we'll try to get a good close-up right there so you can see. Is I adjust the wire feed, and you can see sometimes the wire's way up in the air, sometimes the wire's way down in the puddle, and that'll have a difference on the sound, and that'll have a difference on the quality of the weld. So put your helmet on. Let's go look over here. So now I've got the wire feed set way low. It's down to 120, and the amper, the volts rather, is set at 18. So watch what kind of reaction I get down here when I'm welding. Now, did you see that? The wire was actually looked like it was getting cut off as you were weld as I was welding. It would get a little close, it would start to melt, it would burn, and then it would snap back out of the way. You hear all that popping and cracking. So let me turn the bolter, turn the wire up a little bit, and we'll see what we get. So that was from 120 up to 185. stable, but we're not there yet. Let's turn it up some more. So there's 225. Now you can hear you're starting to hear a sizzle. You hear that difference in it? Go rewind a little bit and listen to the second one and the third one again. And this third one's got that little sizzle going, kind of like some bacon. Let's turn it up some more. So here's 260. Almost like paper tearing. They're like cutting it with this pair of scissors. Let's turn it up a little more. So here's 300. Now, did you hear that? Still had that sound, that, si that sizzle in there, but you see the wire feed got all weird. It, the puddle started building up. So you can kind of hear the difference there. You can kind of see the difference and see what was happening. So we went from way, way too low to a little too high. 
The wire was either getting cut off and it was dropping in globs because it was too slow, or it would be up to the other end and the puddle was just starting to build up and the, the puddle was just building so fast that the wire couldn't melt quick enough. Couldn't feed, uh, it wasn't feeding right. I hope that makes sense. Sounds good to me. You want, the, you want in the middle, you want that nice bake and sizzle sound. You don't want the popping, you don't want the snapping, you want that sizzle. Sounds like, like, like I said, like paper tearing, like bake and sizzle, and that's what you're looking for. See you next time.